Hello, I want just to welcome you into this just amazing ROM custom. As the developer says, as Clean 1344 says, this is not just a tablet mod ROM custom. This is something more. We have here a JBin version with Android version 4.1.1 on my HTC One S. And I have to say, on this paranoid Android version 2.15, this custom ROM is just amazing. First thing, it's Jelly Bean, and on Jelly Bean, you got Google. And with Google, for example, you can have so, some research, but you have also cards. So, for example, let's go to search for Eiffel Tour. There, we have the Eiffel Tour, and we have different links, but we also have the images, places, and we can also get more. And on more, we have news, shopping, videos, blogs, discussions, and books. Google Now is just working, and this is good. I have uh, something to say before starting. When we go to settings, we have the paranoid settings, and I want to start with that because here we have your workspace, space, excuse me, and you have your current configuration. Here, this is an hybrid mode. It's enabled, and we have the workspace GPI, the workspace layout, the system default GPI, and user default GPI. You can just select which one you want, but it needs a robot, so I will just show you just after that. You also have the user interface, and you can change on workspace user interface the phone mode, tablet mode, or tablet mode. This is the same for the default user interface and a system apps default user interface and user apps default. You can also change system apps just like that. And you have to press apply there, but it require a reboot. So just know for this time. You also have an amazing thing. You can select for each application which mod you want to use. For example, Android cable. You can change the size there to select if you want to use a tablet mode, a tablet mode, or a phone mode. You also have so the size, the current size here. You have uh, the P PX like that. Select your apps, user interface, layout. Pick one of the available screen size. Keep in mind that the app itself brings this. This each employee can research in slide or setting some times, drastic changes, try them all and choose your favorite. So you can change that. And you have also the, also the force. You can activate or inactivate it. You have the large screen, you can activate it or not. So you can do that with all your apps installed. So this is just something more than a tablet mode. This is an hybrid mode and a 100% hybrid mode. So this is something just amazing and I have never seen that before. You can also back up your preferences, restore your preferences, and you have to do that before um, rebooting your phone just to, to be able to, to secure that. Then you have some help, uh, Hannibal help mode for any selected option and you can just activate it. So this is for the part of the hybrid mode and this is just amazing to be able to do that. I will show you different things just after done that on the, on the review. So on the interface you have different things. You have the launcher and on the launcher you can change different things on home screen, the white size from 3 to 7 and for rows and for the column. You have the different home screen you can change from 2, from 1 excuse me, to 7. You have also the default screen, you can select the one you want to use. You can change the vertical padding, the horizontal padding, activate or not the search bar, resize any widgets if you want, hide icon labels, you can do that, scrolling wallpaper or not, show the page indicator, page indicator and show dock divider. You also have drawer settings to join with apps, to show page indicator and to fade indicator. And on general, you can also auto-rotate the screen. So I want to show you the rotate screen on tablet mode. This is just so cool. And it's working there too. So let's go to settings here. 
So we continue on with the lock screen, excuse me, lock screen there. We have the screen security, and you can change the screen security by slide, face unlock, button, pin, or password. You have the background selected for the lock screen. You also have the clock alignment, so you can use center, for example, with your lock screen there. Okay. You have the battery status. You have the owner info that you can select it and enter there. The weather. You have the calendar display weather. Okay. You have the calendar display next event. And you have the slider shortcuts. With that, this is not so easy to use. On this mod, we must use the landscape mod. You can select here, for example, different options there and select different uh, uh, shortcuts with that you have okay you have so the ne left one the right one and these two more here you also be able to use the theme and you must use the current one excuse me on system you have the status bar system you can show the clock center the clock you have seen maybe how fast it is to do that excuse me Okay, you have the APM style, um, you have also the battery statue style, icon, persons or not, and you have the signal uh, statue style, the brightness control, there. so we can just slide for the brightness, like that, or like that if you want, it's just amazing to be able to do that, you have the notification count also. And this is for uh, this status bar. On notification, you have also the possibility to change different things. The same for the wallpaper. You can change by solid color or other things. You have the font size. You can select by normal, large, or huge. The power menu. You can enable on the screenshot. The uh, reboot menu. Excuse me. You can maybe see that more by this way. The reboot menu, okay, I can focus it, sorry. The reboot menu, uh, the expanded desktop, and the profile switcher. Yes, because there is also the profile, uh, the profile here. You can select different profiles and ju just uh, change it and set it as you want. For example, you can go there and for default you have to use um, the Bluetooth disable, GPS disable, Wi-Fi disable and just that. We have to change the home default, okay, uh, the home sets. For example, Bluetooth, we will enable it and activate the changement. Activate GPS to enable GPS and enable Wi-Fi. Okay, enable Wi-Fi. Okay, so when I am there and I press the program menu, I can just go to profile and select, you have to see in there, and select the home and at this moment, the Bluetooth was connected, the Wi-Fi is also connected, so let's go there, Wi-Fi is on, and we also have the GPS connected. So I have just to go there, or with program menu, and select profile, and select default, Bluetooth is no disable uh, as Wi-Fi and GPS. We also have different things. We have location service, app services, security, language and inputs, and there is a lot of things. Uh, we have to see that. We have the different languages. You can see how many there are, so I think you, you will find your, your happiness there. Uh, and there is text-to-speech and other things. Okay, so thanks to have seen this video. I will just rem record a new one just to show you different things and with different robots. So thanks to have seen this one and let's go to the next one. That's flow. Yes, sorry, I haven't finished my test because I have just shown you the different settings but I want to show you more. For example, the dialer, where you have the dialer with uh, the call, uh, call log and the contacts. You can, for example, add new contacts. Okay, uh, keep locally. And you have different things there to select it to contacts. You have all your contacts, not now. Um, you have your pupil, your different groups and favorites. Uh, you have there your drawer. 
you already know that because this is a CM10 and uh, this is as over CM10. I really like um, the messages because of the uh, the keyboard is just amazing and you can use it so fast and with prediction just very good. Uh, cancel. Okay. Um, you have the browser and I love it because it's just so easy to use it. You you can see how fast it is to to create a new tab there to enter for example a new link I want to go um, on YouTube for example let's go there and we have our YouTube it's just amazing you have the bookmarks there the I story and the uh, save pages you can just do a research a search by this button and add to favorite like that and say just yes okay and there is your say uh, your favorite pages uh, the most visited uh, pages and other things. So browser is just amazing. Also, I have to show you the camera because some people must ask about that. So camera is just perfect. You have seen that. You also have the Apollo for music and it works very well. Um, you can see how fast it is and how smooth it is. I really like this custom ROM. Um, you have also the torch and there is not too many apps because I think this is best thing to do to, to install ourselves different uh, apps uh, side by side. So thanks to have seen this entire video and let's go to show you the next uh, video I want to show you. Thanks again. Hmm. <laughs>